Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, right, really excited about my new bike here. Actually, it's not mine because I first I just bought this for my wife, and um, it's an electric bike. So I thought of sharing with you guys because it is uh, something you guys need to uh, think of buying as well if you do commute to work to the city pretty much very often. And um, <coughs> excuse me, um, Sky. I think it's it's a future of bikes. I think you know pretty much. A lot of people are buying these nowadays, so I, that's the main reason I thought of doing this video for you guys. So, keeps you guys motivated to buy um, bikes out there, you know, electric bikes. Um, this is a normal commuter bike to the city, you know, electric commuter bike. So, um, my wife goes into the city to this, you know, it's about 10 k's into the city from where I live. So, it takes her about maybe about 20 minute stops to get there. But in the mornings and the afternoons, you know, if you got to use the vehicle, it's about one hour drive. So no traffic, nothing, and it's it's pretty cool. And here you got all these cycleways, you know, separate. Uh, it's pretty safe. So I thought of running a few things with you guys about this uh, bike here, and it's it is it is so far she's been riding this for. Like, for about a month now and it seems to be really good so far there's no problems here. Uh, yes so first of all people have the big um, thing about the batteries you know how long do they last in the batteries here it's, first of all it's pretty easy for you to you know for me to take the battery out you got a charging cable here like you can see uh, all you do is you just pull the battery out. Now this is the battery. I think you can see how oh. it's pretty big. Um, nowadays there are other bikes that actually you know get smaller batteries and it's the same capacity too. So these batteries uh, do last for a long time. I think they do last for about thousand to more cycles. So pretty much it's about what. Even if you charge it every day, one full battery every day, you can. It will last for about three years. Yes, around three years. So, according to what the specs are, these uh, batteries could ride up to about um, 30 to 40 k's or 50 k's on a full charge. Uh, if you do help yourself by you know just uh, riding your bike in the meantime as well while using the battery it, you can go up to 70 k's for the full charge and these are lithium ion batteries so even if you charge it charges up to full and stops it it doesn't keep on charging so the charger is i'll show you the charger so this is the charger it got the adapter in the, and it's pretty much like the laptop thing and you can put it into a bag and take it with you to your workplace you also can take this out you know charge it while you're at your workplace put it back in and then start writing and these are very convenient and um, so far i think she my wife actually what do you say she charges about once in two days or something like that even more you know maybe more than that i guess but i'm not sure but anyway um it's about 10 k's up and down is 20 k's so pretty much one <clears throat> you can at least use these batteries for two days without charging if you're using the battery full time electric full time but she actually does a manual ride as well so basically you can use it for about three four days uh, without a second charge which means it'll end up at about what do you say more than six years or seven years it, it really depends how you actually use it and how you take care of the battery in the winter if you're not riding the bike you better keep it in charge um what do you say uh even if you're not riding it put it into charge you know just once in once a week or even once in two weeks just just make sure the battery is you know uh keeps on uh, batteries being kept used so and and these batteries have a lock so you got a key there so it'll lock into this uh uh, thing here and pretty much it's very safe and if even if you feel it unsafe you can carry it into your workplace and uh, you've got no trouble you've got peace of mind and uh, so put those batteries back in there put 
put the cable in. So pretty much all you need to do is plug the charging unit into this and plug it into the wire and it will charge. It takes about approximately, a full charge takes about 7 to 8 hours. So you know, you come back home, put it to charge if it's full, did flat battery and in the morning it's full, so you, you're good to go. So that's about the battery guys, so it's, it's pretty good. And uh, I'm back. Anyway, um, there's some warranty on the new bikes as well, so pretty much that's, that's pretty good. And these bikes, you get mountain bikes as well, but here in New Zealand we are live, you know, there's a, there's a regulation that you cannot use any kind of transport mode that is more than 300 volts. If it's more than 300 volts, you have to have a specific license. So these ones are 300 volts, so you don't need a license, and um, so you do, you actually can't. There are there are uh, bikes with mountain bikes, electric mountain bikes, and you know with more specs with these 24 gears and you know extra blah 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 things, you know. But she just travels to work, so it's just really not necessary for her. But um, so this is about mostly six gear thing, only the back, nothing in the front. It does do the job, you know. So. It's not too hard to get into the city because you know if it's hard to drive use the electric and this is kind of the accelerator so it, it actually you can use it can you can use it to control now the other thing I wanted to mention is um, how much does it actually cost uh, to, to ride this bike on 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 the electric um, now these are 300 volts it doesn't sort of take so much um, power I think it takes about 20 to 30 cents a full charge uh, so comparatively 20 to 30 cents a full charge you can use it for two days and it's uh, like what do you say even if you use a electric full time it's about um, 40 k's and you if you are to travel in the car for 40 k's in the traffic you would at least consume what uh, one liter for 10 kilometers even in, eco in a very economical car so what that's about at least 10 10 to 15 dollars 10 dollars or something like that it depends on which country you live so anyway it's still it's you know comparatively 20 cents and 10 12 dollars is more, there's a big difference you know and i don't know how, not 100 percent uh, it's about thousand percent i don't know so it's a huge difference in cost wise you're saving a lot and end of the week that's about one dollar you've saved to travel the whole week pretty much if you use your car you have maintenance cost and you have all the other you know fuel cost and you know and all those extra extra things you know the license and all those stuff so that will take you about what do you say at least about sixty seventy dollars a week on fuel you know so pretty much it's very good and even if you run out of electricity you know you can just ride the bike so it's very convenient in all ways so, um, so that's that's something that I really wanted to share with you guys you know it's about uh, thinking of the environment and, and, and all the other extra things so um, financially it's, it's very easy commuting it's time saving uh, you've got some extra things over here in the front you've got the basket you now you could just put, do some groceries on your way you know you don't need to go specifically to do some groceries in your car so those are those are the basic things, and um, you gotta make sure you do a little bit of maintenance on these uh, once once at least uh, once in once once a week or once in two weeks. You know, just make sure it's it's a bit clean over there where the electrics are involved. You know, somewhere the motor actually sits the motor sits in the back wheel here. You know, you can see this huge thing. Actually, that's the motor. And the power goes through from here and you can see this cable the black cable that comes through the battery from below underneath goes in um, through this cable into the motor so that's where it actually all all the electric takes place in this bike um, yes and kind of with convenient you can put all the extra other gadgets that you actually use on the bike and the other thing, other few things I actually, sorry, sorry guys, hit my leg on the, uh, 
wanted to show you guys is the control, the control panel of the electric car, electric car, how it works. Now, you can't see it from there. Uh, I'll just bring the camera right, right near and then I'll, I'll get back to you guys. Now, that's the control guys. So that's basically all these instructions, you know, things here, how you control the bike when you do the electric thing. And the, on the other side, you have to actually have the accelerator. I'll get back to you. But now to switch this on, you actually have a key in the battery to actually turn it on. So once you turn on the key, it will... It's pretty much now usable. So now you've got this on-off button here and shows the kilometers the maximum uh, speed you got you can use it at the minimum you know just how fast you can go and this one here on the top which shows the amount of uh, battery power left so high power full charge and you know it just goes away down so you actually can um, change all this stuff but you know you got different controls you got the digital ones nowadays but i don't tend to use it i don't like the digital one because you know it's more chances of getting damaged you know you know water leaking and all this blah blah stuff because you know these these are little gadgets you know they could break and you know could you know not very secure for waterproof so um so this this this, this plastic pretty much is a fully coat so basically there's no way water to go in there unless from underneath so which basically would never happen you know to water go from underneath unless you pour so pretty much it's very safe and uh, it's very convenient too so when you switch press on so those are the lights so now the battery is in full charge so today is a saturday actually she's put it on charge to you know so uh probably it's it's ready for for use for monday morning um to go for work and uh you know you actually can use this as well you know it's just mean uh, you know the speed control basically sorry if you can see it I'll use this finger here now this one here is the control for this these three LED lights you know minimum to high minimum to maximum uh, okay I hope you can see it now uh, so these are the things it's not too technical you know it just shows the battery and your speed and you pretty much cover basically she's got these extra gadgets about you know the um, uh, speedometer and uh, the other lights and all the stuff but I haven't fixed that for her so far you know it's been too lazy you know time to get that done but I'm gonna do that now so basically I'll be fixing the speedometer as, speedometer as well so for her to you know check to check her speed and, you know uh, which actually would help uh, you know to control the bike more much in a better way so um, I'll be doing a video on that as well how to get the speedometer um, connected to 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 the to the uh, to the bike and going further away into this section here now let me, let me sorry is that All right now, it's the accelerator. See, it goes. It actually when I when I pressed, you know, uh, um, turned it. It actually the bike actually went went front. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. It's a, it's a foolish thing I did. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not kind of used to riding this bike. She is the one who always uses the bike. So <laughs> sorry about that. You know, it just went ahead. But anyway, so that shows you. You know, as soon as you so whenever you take the bike, make sure this is switched off. This one here is switched off, and the battery, so it doesn't um, it doesn't jump ahead. You know, you just just accelerate a little bit, the bike goes to you know, just jumps. So make sure you you know as a safety, um, try to try to switch off all this stuff. You know before even using the electric. Once you get on the bike, then you can, and when you're ready to actually. Uh, ride the bike then you can get that switched on so these are the normal gears basically you know it's a six gear bike so we got the bell and those are the normal things actually in a bike but the thing i'm talking about is the electric so you got get low 
medium high now these two the one I showed you earlier now this one here and this one here the the red lights the blue light and the red lights the minimum maximum pretty much the same now it's the same gadget but you got more details here now these details are very important according to New Zealand standard or anything of those you know electric bike things so the fixed state um, as a default in all the bikes and these things are these this was the basic one um, now because it's at max you know you got all these three bulbs on the top and uh, so so pretty much you know it's not, it's not too technical it's the same thing same thing that actually operates in both sides you know it's just because of the law and regulations you gotta have this extra gadget here just to make sure you got all the details uh, uh, to ride the bike on the road so uh, now to buy these bikes you know just I think I bought well, how much should I buy this for this I bought this for about eighteen hundred dollars eighteen hundred New Zealand dollars basically yes yes eighteen hundred New Zealand dollars and uh, it's a brand new you got two years warranty on these bikes and and um, yeah so it's really worth it for eighteen hundred dollars because you know you buy a car you got more expenses and you know, it's definitely more expensive for you to buy a really good car you know to commit to work something that's really reliable so well, you say you're talking about at least five grand at least for a decent car so in New Zealand so uh, it's it's really worth the money eighteen hundred dollars uh, I, I was really glad to spend that money on on this bike and uh, comparatively it's cheaper in economy you know fuel wise you know maintenance and everything so that part's really good um, other things actually I think I pretty much covered but I haven't driven this thing for you, you know, I don't have this camera that I can actually fit on, motion camera on the head, you know, just uh, ride it for you guys. But I'm going to buy one of those for you. Definitely I'm going to shoot a video on on uh, riding this bike and put it out there for you guys, you know, just to make sure you experience how it, how it actually works. Yeah. And um, yes, I think pretty much I've covered all, 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 all about this. Um, bike I really recommend if you guys are looking forward to or thinking of you know buying one of these you know just just go for good just go for it you know just don't think about it just go for it buy these bikes these are really good I've got nothing to do with this bike so I'm not I'm not selling anything like that you know just trying to motivate motivate you guys you know it's just trying to save some money for you guys as well yeah. if you've got other hobbies you know you can spend that money on your hobbies you know I've got a I've got a huge fish tank you know a couple of them uh, you know you got you, you seen my other videos so now I could save that money and spend more yeah, a little bit more on my tank and and other other stuff that I actually intend to do um, yeah so end of the day it's about saving some money to get things done um, so so far I think I've covered all of it and I'll be doing a video on how to install how to install the um, what is that the the speedometer for this bike so i'm going to do that right now i'm going to upload that one too so please uh check the links on this video or in, in the description area or you just go to my channel check out the other videos too i've got several videos you know i just whatever i think i should put it in there you know, i just thought of, you know if it's good you know i just feel like sharing with the with the community so um yeah th thanks for watching guys it's it's uh it's great um have a great day and we'll catch you guys back again and if you guys have any questions about this electric bus please put down you know about she's drives and she'll get back to you with all the answers she's got pretty much good experience so so far with this bike you know how it works and uh, uh any questions that you could have you know with the batteries or even uh, what's the you know how does it you know how it feels like to ride these bikes you know you got you just got to put in any questions you got there and i think she'll get back to you with any you know any solutions she, she has and thanks for watching guys have a great day we'll see you guys soon all right thank you bye bye